This is a review of Captain Duck's video game commentary of Mountain of Death. I believe game commentary to be also a form of art, and seeing how long ones can take even hundreds of hours, I decided to ma start making reviews about what I liked and disliked, would have done differently myself, or otherwise provide some insightful commentary on the video series I watched. Until I get tired of it, of course. The game being played is a Metroidvania, a type of action-adventure platformer with emphasis on exploration and usually on getting power-ups to get past obstacles. With, to my knowledge, an original idea about decreasing the gold you gain after getting new power-ups. The audio quality is good and the volumes of game audio and commentators' speech are good. And yeah, let's um... Something awful game, which means it's probably some um, some nice writing in it here, especially here with the signs poor syntax. The commentator doesn't read through the intro, which I disapprove of, even if the story is bad, because the viewer might not actively be watching, and if the story is actually interesting, there would be even more reason to read it out loud. Also, there are also people like me who are just too lazy to read themselves. There is some uh, jo joking about the story, however. Maybe a solution would be to read and then joke about what was read. Also, the voice might take some getting used to, but you'll get over it. The speech is well articulated with just a few places where I couldn't hear clearly clearly what was said, and it wasn't too fast or slow. The controls are explained by the commentator. You have a bow, you can shoot, and yeah, you press X to use your bow, or... Which I believe to be an important thing to do, in case you have some people who haven't played the game themselves, and there's usually no reason to assume there aren't, because watching habits vary. The commentator expresses what's on his mind, like these examples show. Also, my health meter looks like a credit card. <laughs> Probably has something to do with it as well. And there's a it's very nice that you can shoot up and down. And enemies drop hearts, just like in a Metroid game. Well, this looks like a way back. Oh, and also the music so far has been awesome, which is why I selected this. So shame you can't really see the save points on the map. That would be nice. This seems to be the defining quality of the commentary's style, which is good in some amounts because telling what you're doing he helps even people who aren't actually watching to keep track of what's going on. Insightful observations are also always welcome, and telling things that are not related to the game, like stories about your life, are good fodder when there's nothing more important to talk about. However, I feel that sometimes there's a bit too much of the first type I mentioned, which, even though it's worded with a richer vocabulary, the commentary will at times feel like it's just, I'm doing this and now I'm doing that. Of course, it's better than nothing, I suppose, and the commentator does succeed to keep talking uh, decently much, which is the whole point of commentary. In my opinion, the requirement to talk about what, what you're doing uh, increases as the complexity of the game increases, and since this is a metroidvania and not just a platformer, in the end it's not an overly bad choice for a style of commentary. The commentator doesn't feel like breezing through a game, which is what one would expect from a blind commentary, but isn't stuck for aggra aggravatingly long at any point. Also, he explores the things he feels like could be secrets, which is pretty suitable considering the genre's history. <sighs> I can't play like this, and I was never heard from again. Yeah, let's go to the right and down, if possible. That's not right. Sometimes the commentary seems to be a bit lacking. For example, in cases when there's something bad, ha bad happening, there's only a very unemotionally voiced profanity, and some of the longer 
longer pauses in commentary might have been better off with a choke or maybe even uh, make a r make room for some uh, stories or philosophy for example the reaction to the ending was the best part all in all this uh, this was a pretty average series i give the series 6 out of 10